It's one of the most famous landmarks on Earth, but what is it? I'm the host. This is Crash Course Geography. In the next 60 seconds, we re -ga na go 400 miles across the Sahara Desert to see the amazing eye of the Sahara. The technical name is the Richot structure, and it S, a giant circular formation in the desert that S, visible even from space. It looks like a giant blue eye peering out from the reddish desert sands, which is why it's also called the Eye of the Sahara. But it's not an eye at all. It's not a lake. And although it looks like something out of Star Wars, it's not a crashed spaceship either. We don't know exactly how it formed, but we do know that it's not an ancient ruin. Because the Eye of the Sahara is much, much older than human civilization, it's estimated to be about 100 million years old. That's 100 million, 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 thousand, 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 hundred. For scale, the entire Sahara Desert is only about 3 million years old. So the Eye is more than 30 times older than the desert itself. What we think happened is that around 100 million years ago, there was a massive explosion here, maybe from a meteorite or a volcanic eruption. The explosion blasted away huge amounts of rock and dust, leaving behind a huge crater. Over the next few million years, the crater filled with water, forming a lake. But eventually, that water evaporated, leaving behind the reddish-brown sediment that you see today. In the center of the circle, there's a raised area with lighter-colored rocks. We think this is the original core of the meteorite, or the remnant of the volcano that exploded here. Because the eye of the Sahara is so big, Many people see it from a plane or a satellite. It's hard to wrap your mind around how big it is, but it is about two and a two miles deep and 25 miles across. That's about as deep as the Grand Canyon is wide. If you wanted to walk around the rim of the Eye of the Sahara, it would take you almost an hour to walk all the way around. There are a few small towns nearby, but it's mostly just cows out there, no people. So if you ever see this amazing place from space, you'll know that it's not a crashed spaceship just a giant ancient crater.